Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Manjus Mandam. You guys know that I love living in Korea, but as we know, no country is perfect, and Korea also has its flaws. So here are the top five things that a lot of expats complain about while living in Korea. Number one, ajumas on the subway and on the bus. So when you take a bus or a subway in Korea, you'll probably notice that Ajuma's shoulders are made of steel. They're very strong. If they want to make a path through or they want a chair, they try to push their way on while I'm leaving at the same time. I mean, there's plenty of seats. They could just wait until I safely leave the train and then they can safely enter the train. But oh no, they are really determined using their shoulders and their elbows and their bags. Not that dramatic, but you know what I'm trying to say. They're like mini football players. Now this is great though when I want to leave the station. If it's a really crowded station, I find an ajuma and they will part the people because they'll push their way through and I just follow behind them and then I can leave quickly. Also, just as a disclaimer, I'm not talking about every single ajuma out there, but this has happened to me so frequently and to other expats that it's hard not to notice and it's hard not to complain about it. Number two, ajushis and their sound. So one sound that I really associate with Korea is, well, there could be the hegum or the kayegum, but there's also this sound. In the morning, I hear it all the time. And my thing is, is that ajushi, why can't you just like quietly do it? Like, like you can do it quietly, but you have to make a huge noise. It's a really loud noise. It's like, yeah, like that. Oh, oh hold on. <laughs> Once you hear this sound, you know someone's going to spit. I've actually been in a situation when someone almost spit on me and I gave them the dirtiest look. I was like, how dare you spit on me? And they were like, and I was like, yeah, that's right. Perhaps because they smoke or they just want to look cool, it's gross. <laughs> Number three trash cans or the lack thereof. When I first came to Korea, I was looking for a trash can. I had trash and I was like, where's the trash can? Trash can, trash can, trash can. There's no public trash cans. And if there are, they're very far apart and they're very hard to find. And they're usually so full that there's no room to put your trash in. So usually I have to hold on to my trash in my pocket or in my bag and save it for when I go to a subway station or until I go home. I've heard a lot of expats complain about because back in their home countries, they're used to being able to throw trash in the trash can anytime. I mean, in Canada, next to almost every single bus stop, there's always a, a public trash can and it gets emptied every day. So that's something we do complain about. Sorry. <laughs> Number four, taxi drivers. Taxis here in Korea, they're really inexpensive compared to Canada, but I think a lot of expats, the longer they live here, the more they realize that some, not all taxi ajashis are pretty mean and they drive pretty crazy. I've had an argument with one before in a car. We almost got hit and I had to tell the ajashi, please slow down. And he was really grumbly about it and I said, I'm not in a rush and that was really scary so you need to slow down and then he apologized and we had a great time after that but a lot of expats find it really scary to go into a taxi now this isn't all taxi drivers I've had some really great experiences with taxi drivers and we've had a grand old time but before taking a taxi it's kind of nerve-wracking because you don't know what kind of driver you're going to get so I know for myself just for the peace of mind of knowing that I'm going to have a safe drive, I would pay more for better service and safety. Number five, <laughs> Mise Manji. Tis the season for Mise Manji. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to wear masks. Fa la 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 la. So this is something that I've heard a lot of foreigners complain about and I've had a lot of friends actually leave the country because of the air quality. Many expats, they're not used to wearing a mask around or even checking the quality of the air before they leave their house. And this is something I struggle with as well. My throat hurts and I love opening up the windows and going outside, but during my say Manji season, I can't. And it really makes me feel shack wacky and I just wanna go outside, but I can't without wearing a mask. So it's kind of dop that pay and it's depressing because it's like a snowstorm that never ends. You can never open your window. We know that it's not just your fault. 
it's just something that we're going to have to deal with and I really hope the government really steps up their game to help the air improve, especially when it gets really bad at certain times of year. So ladies and gentlemen, make sure you wear your mask this year. As you guys know, I still love living here and this isn't just my opinion, but I've heard it from a lot of expats. So I'm actually really curious, what do you guys think? Please let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. Onoden, yung!